the Council on Undergraduate Research presents Five in Five, where we talk to community members asking five questions for five minutes of their time. In this episode, we spoke with Tina Zecker, Assistant Director of Undergraduate Research and Creative Activity at Northern Arizona University, about how COVID-19 impacted NAU's annual symposium and how they overcame it. Tell us the problem that Northern Arizona University faced. Each year, our office hosts an undergraduate symposium, which is a huge culminating event for us in the spring semester. We usually have over 800 presentations and more than 3,500 people who come out from the NAU community and Flagstaff community to see the accomplishments of our students. So this year when COVID-19 hit, we had to make a decision as a university if we were gonna continue with this event in an alternate format or if we were gonna cancel it altogether. And we decided that we wanted to find a way to keep it going for our students and for our community to see some of the accomplishments of our students. Tell us how you handled this change in transition into a virtual platform. When the planning committee decided to take this event virtual, we wanted to be really intentional about the way we communicated that change to our students, faculty, staff, and volunteers. And so uh, we wanted to make sure we focused on the positive of the fact that we were continuing this event, especially at a time of such uncertainty and change and things being canceled. And so at NAU, we have this concept called One NAU, which basically means that while we have campuses across the state and students around the world, we are still all one big family. We're all one NAU. And so we use that concept to focus on how this event was going to bring us together as one NAU, even through these difficult times. And um, honestly, it was a way to show how this event could become more accessible to our NAU family um, than possibly even the in-person event that we have in Flagstaff because oftentimes students aren't, aren't able to make it to that in-person event. So we are fortunate enough to have a system in place for this event called Open Water that really made the transition into a virtual event really easy. And so as far as things that we made to help with the transition, it was mostly about communicating how to use our current system to accommodate those virtual presentations from how to upload your poster or record your oral presentation to how you're going to see the different presentations that are gonna be available during our virtual symposium week. And it's just over communicating to students and volunteers and our community about how the whole process is going to work step by step. I love the one in AU slogan, so creative. But now tell us what your biggest challenge was. I think the biggest challenge for us, like I, I, you know, was figuring out how we were going to keep this engaging. As I mentioned before, we have a software system in place that really made the virtual presentation piece of it fairly easy. So it's, it's really already equipped for students to upload presentations, upload audio and video recordings, and then to put those into a public gallery. But we didn't want to just have a gallery of hundreds of presentations posted on a website. Uh, we wanted something that would draw people in, bring people back each day during the symposium to view our various projects and presentations that we had available and engage in conversation with the students. And so we really had to figure out how could we safely and effectively schedule in-person meetings between our judges and reviewers and visitors and our students. And then also have events going on each day that focus on our students' accomplishments and get people engaged in the event and talking about the work and asking questions and really learning from, from the experience. And so coordinating that and figuring out how to do all of that has probably been one of the biggest challenges of going virtual this year. There's always something positive that comes about these transitions. Can you tell us some of yours? I honestly feel that while it's disappointing that we're not having our in-person event this year, there are really some positive things that have come out of pushing us to this virtual event. It really has made this event more accessible to our students around the world, 
but also our alumni and uh, industry partners who want to engage with our students and find out what they're doing. And I've had many people who have actually thanked us for taking this virtual because for the first time, they're going to actually be able to be a part of it and see what's going on. And we've also pretty much decided as a, as a university that this is a component that's not going away. So I feel like it's in a way pushed us to do things that we may not have been pushed to do before. And it's only going to better this event overall in the future. What have you learned from all of this, from the change, the transition, the communication, and the overall success of the event? I think that by going virtual this year, we now think about the symposium in a completely different way. We realize the ability to be able to expand beyond our in-person event and reach more students and community members and get them involved in finding out about what our students are doing and seeing their accomplishments and connecting our students to people outside of Flagstaff in the NAU community. And it's really exciting. I think this is going to change our symposium for the better. And while I know we'll go back to our in-person event when things get back to normal, I, I don't think this virtual component's going away either. I think it will always now be a part of this event, which is great to see that we'll be able to expand it beyond even where it is right now. We've also learned that our students are so resilient and adaptable. In just a few short weeks, we've gone from completely changing this event, you know, to from a an in-person poster printing, oral presentation preparing event to everything being online. And students have had to figure out how to record themselves and uh, present themselves online in a professional way. And um, it's, it's great to see people jumping on board and making those changes. And so I think from this, we've just learned what we're capable of doing. And I'm excited to see how this virtual component continues to play into our annual symposium. That's a wrap. Make sure to email us at cur at cur.org for volunteer opportunities or to discuss other involvements. Or visit cur.org to take advantage of the many resources we have gathered. Until next time, see you then.